Hello friends, today I'll be sharing a very important trick to make an ex interactive Excel dashboard. Incorporating slices into your pivot tables makes the filtering process even easier and of course very attractive. But the Excel default applies only one slicer to one pivot table. So in this video, I'll be guiding on how to make how to make a single slicer work for multiple pivot tables as well as charts, which is very helpful while creating an interactive dashboard. So let's see how it can be done practically. So here is our sales data. So first, first we're going to create a table out of this data set. So for that, hit insert and then table. Alternatively, you can hit control T. So put your cursor in your data and hit control T. My table has headers, so click OK. So this is our table. Let's rename our table to say sales. <coughs> now we're going to create pivots out of this table. So for that, hit Alt V and T. Alt N V T and hit OK. So drag few things, say product and the units. Say our second pivot will make of will be for say instead of a product uh, we want say region and say product in columns we need. <coughs> and the third pivot can be instead of unit we'll say just sum of sales we can have like multiple pivots so our aim here is from the single data set when we have multiple pivots we need a common slicer for all of these <coughs> so for that now hit put your cursor in one of the pivot go to analyze under pivot table tools go to analyze and say insert slices Suppose we want a slicer for product. <coughs> so if we make a selection, say Carol, it is slicing the data, the pivot, sorry, but only for this first pivot. So what we have to do, we have to make the connections. So for that, you can just go to options, slices tool. <coughs> <coughs> options and then hit on report connection alternatively you can just right click on your slicer and select report connections here you have option to select all the reports and now see boom see all your data is in sync with the slicer selections you can make multiple selection by uh, hitting holding control so you can make multiple selection this way and you can remove your selection by hitting this <coughs> so this was our first scenario now if you have multiple data sources and say multiple pivots then how are you going to make the slicer a single slicer which will like be in sync with all the pivots and the data sources also different so suppose we have another data set now for cox <coughs> <coughs> sorry so as we created a table for sales the same procedure we're going to follow here so here we are going to <coughs> say control t the table has headers name it as say cox now we are going to create, as of now I am going to delete this sheet or say I am going to hide the sheet and we are going to create, sorry, so for, for COGS also we have made it at this table. So what the, there is a different step for making a slicer for multiple data sources suppose we want a slicer based on product for our dashboard say so we're going to copy this and insert this into a new sheet 
and here we need to have this unique value for the slices so we are going to make this select this data and go to data and remove the duplicates hit ok <coughs> <coughs> so we got five unique values and place your cursor in one of these uh, entries and press ctrl D that is make a table out of this hit ok and name it as product Similarly, I'm going to rename the worksheet to product. So now we have three tables and three sheets. So now we will going to create pivot for all three of these. Same one single worksheet. So alt and B. So we'll say new worksheet. <coughs> I'm going to call it as pivot. And suppose uh, we'll drag few things, products, regions, and here we have sales. Okay. This was for sales. And then now we'll go to Cox worksheet. And we're going to again make pivot in Alt NV T and existing worksheet because we want our pivots to be in the common worksheet, which is a pivot worksheet. I'm going to place it here nearby and hit. Oh, oh, I made a mistake here. So we have to add this. This is what I we need to do when we are making slices, common slices. Add this to data to data model. So click OK. So we have a new pivot. I'm going to delete this pivot because I made a mistake of not selecting that. So this is going to be our cogs slicer. So we'll put cogs here, product here and say region here. And we can just go to call this as cogs pivot so that we don't make a mistake. Cogs pivot. Okay. And sorry, I'm going to follow the same procedure again here. So we want to alt NBT. And we're going to take this into <coughs> existing location here. And ensure that you check this box. Add this to data model. Hit OK. Okay, now this was our sales pivot. So sales. And say we want our region here, product here. So this is our these are our two pivots. Now we want a slicer which is going to help us uh, slice the data, so slice the pivot if it is from this also or from this, from sales worksheet or Cox worksheet. So for that our step of uh, creating slices would be go to analyze <coughs> insert slicers so we are not going to use the slicers from any of these sheets active sheets okay we are going to use select this all button and make a slicer of the unique product list that we have created here in this third worksheet now hit ok so now if you click <coughs> nothing actually is changing Reason being, we have not made any connections as yet. So for making the connections, the procedure is go to this, I select the pivot, go to analyze and here you will find a button to create relationships. And it is very simple. <coughs> so you will click on new relationship and select your table. Say we are selecting the Cox table now. It is related to which table? The third worksheet, the common worksheet, what we have the unique values for product. So we are going to click on related table as product. And the foreign the foreign column was product. Obviously, we are linking it to the products, right? So hit OK. This we have done for one worksheet. Similar way, we will connect our sales worksheet to the product worksheet, which is having product in common. Hit OK. 
now close this so we have made the appropriate relationships now if you hit carol see again only one worksheet is filtering slicing so the reason be we have to make, uh, make the connection of this slicer to another pivot table also so for that just click on the slicer in options you'll find report connections alternatively you can just right click and say report connections now we will make a selection select both the pivots or even if you have multiple pivots a similar way the procedure remains the same and hit ok now if you see <coughs> say carol see both the pivots are from multiple worksheets see observe these are the pivots from multiple worksheets but still you can slice the data with the single slicer filter the data and if you want to <coughs> make multiple selection hold the control key and see see you can multiple make multiple selections now and suppose now you insert a chart on based on this say analyze we'll insert some pivot chart say we want a line chart so we we'll get line chart so and suppose here we take a pivot chart say say we'll stick slide uh, stacked one and now see how beautifully it will work we'll, we want only for carols so it is filtered and if we want carol and diamond press hold control so you'll see carol and diamond so this is the best way to make your dashboards look like interactive dashboards i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial do subscribe to my channel for more such tips and tricks thank you all